progress 50%. Halfway there, crew. In Ages of Earth, you control a city at a time and twist rows like a dial to mix and match your arsenal against incoming aliens. What building resides in each plot is up to you. You're free to fortify them and switch them up with a bonus for vertically aligning color-coded buildings. A dandelion's arrived near the city. We'll be there until you give them permission to enter our airspace. There's two parts to Ages of Earth, city building and defending. In city building, you arm your fortress, collect taxes, and take in new residents. Each city has a happiness meter that you can boost with well-executed missions and certain buildings like a water park and a shopping mall. Higher happiness means more residents. More residents means more taxes and higher city levels. Higher city levels allows you better expansions such as boosting city HP and empowering ultimate strike weapon damage, also known as a USW. It is a special weapon that does massive damage but can only be used once filled. And so the game follows the pattern of taking on missions to make your city stronger so you can take on harder and more rewarding missions. Thankfully, there are occasional difficulty spikes to keep things engaging. The most exciting part of a mission is when your alternate meter exceeds 1000, inviting a boss at the end. Bosses start out challenging, which incentivizes installing immobilizers, which freeze bosses in place for a few seconds. It doesn't take long though to figure that it only takes 3 to 4 immobilizers to make bosses virtual sitting ducks. The game's bike-sized missions are well-suited for on-the-go gaming and are colored with cutscenes led by a cast that engages in typical anime banter. Although it's nothing special, they do enough to liven up the game. Yeah, yeah. It's even better knowing each character has strategic value. You can mix up your team with characters gathered throughout the game's chapters. You can then reward one character after each mission, granting extra experience points and energy to keep them going. Otherwise, it's good to tag out characters with dwindling energy levels. Ages of Earth offers a twist to the typical tower defense formula. Although it can be fun seeing your buildings blast through enemies and admittedly watching tanks patrol your city, it doesn't take long for the experience to get repetitive. Missions are challenging at first, but reaching mid-game soon easily endows you with resources to quickly take down foes. Finishing the game from there means following a pattern that's occasionally exciting.